Alright, what's going on guys? I'm going to show you the most, hopefully the most simple way to start up your own Minecraft server. So I've seen a lot of videos do it very in depth but people are still confused so hopefully I can make it clear enough for you. But I do need to say that this is only for the Home Hub 2. This is only for the BT Home Hub 2. Because I only know how to do it with that. So... First off, you want to go to minecraft.net. And underneath the buy now area, down here, it says play Minecraft in browser, download. What you want to do is download, click download, and you come up with this page. Now you want to go to where it says multiplayer server. And if you're running Windows, I am only doing it for Windows as well click this and download it save file and it'll save it you can minimize that so you want to just drag it on your desktop for ease this will work with like windows uh, internet explorer or anything as well now what you want to do is make a new folder um, doing this on a desktop is the easiest way and we're going to call it server because it's easy and then you want to drag your .exe that we just got from minecraft.net drag it into that folder open the folder then when when the minecraft server application is in that folder then run it just click run it's really important you have to run it when it's in the folder and it will bring up this window uh, this is basically just preparing your world preparing your spawn area and building all the terrain so you don't want to do anything until that's done then you can just minimize it and in your folder you should now have all of these lovely lovely files so just minimize that for now next what you want to do is go to your BT Home Hub main page which is when you type in 192.1 Six eight point one point two five four, and you'll get this page up. Then want to click settings, type your password in, it's, um, I think I spelled that wrong. Seven K. Um, I'll skip through this bit. Okay, there we go. We're in. Now what you want to click is advanced settings, which is over here, right on the end. Click on that. And then continue to advanced settings. Then you should have a whole new set. Um, nav bar underneath and then you want to click the part forwarding on the nav bar and you, you'll be met with this page which we don't need at the moment you want to click supported applications right here you'll then have this page in front of you just get rid of that one Okay, so you'll be greeted with this. As, as you can see, I've already done it, so I'm already up here. Um, what you want to do is click on this add new game or application. You want to click on that. This is the bit where most people go wrong, so pay attention, people. You want to type in here something that's easy to find among a list. So you want to type and easy to remember what it does. The Minecraft server in capitals is always a good way to go. You then get this one, copy an existing game or application. You want to press no because we do not want to copy anything by anyone for any reason. Okay, moving on to this bit. Protocol, leave that as TCP. In the part range, put 25565. In the box next to that, 25565. Then you leave these two blank, 
the translate to leave them blank trigger protocol leave that as tcp as well trigger part empty press add don't press apply yet press add first so then it'll come down here tcp to blank blank tcp you then want to change the protocol to udp do exactly the same 25565 Two five five six five, and then you leave translate to blank. Change this trigger protocol to UDP. And leave the trigger part blank, and then press add. Then you press apply, and it'll say applying down here. Sometimes this doesn't work for everyone. If this doesn't work. Try just putting 25565 five, in all of the boxes, leaving nothing blank. That might work. That's a common problem. So as you can see now, it's added it here. Minecraft server. You then click configuration at the top. When it decides to load. Okay, select game or application right here. Click on that drop down arrow when it comes up with all manner of things that are already there like Call of Duty and stuff like that then we're going to go to the one you made which is Minecraft server easy to see easy to remember and it's not going to be confused that it does anything else click on it and it should put it in the box you want to select your own device so whatever your computer's called is what it's like mine's Ben UPC because so I'm Ben and this is my computer so that's what it'll be or you can do user defined and you put your own IP address in there then you press add <coughs> excuse me then you press add and then you press apply in that order add apply I can't do it because I've already got it running and then it'll come up down here Minecraft server with your device and unassign. That's what everyone said. <coughs> Choking. Okay, so that is all you need to do on the BT Home Hub page. Close it. Now, in your server folder we've just made, there'll be a, a file called server properties file. So under name, it's a server, just server. But it's the property file not the text document the properties file and it should have 1 KB of data in it kilobytes whatever you can find easier to remember you want to right click open with no nope. there we go open with and you want to click notepad because notepad reads just about everything apart from books okay so you want to three one two three the fourth one down is your level name what you want to do with this is put it to whatever you want to call your world so it might be whatever you and your mates want to call it or whatever you personally want to call it i'll call it server in capitals okay so that's it server and then further down there's server ip this you need to put in your personal ip address into there this can be found very easily if you don't already know it by using the run which is on your start and then search for run or press the start button ah, if you're in Windows 7 type in CMD and press OK and you'll come up with this box and what you want to do here is put in IP config IP CONFIG no spaces press enter scroll all the way to the top of this complex jargon and on the second group down there should be a group of five different things and the middle one number three is your ipv4 address which is 192.168.1.64 for me but that will be different for each one of you or it might be the same depends so that is what you want to put in to your notepad thing of server IP so I put in 192.168.1.64 and then all you do that is it that is all you do and then you press save done close that 
close your command box right so this server should now work okay so what you want to do is go ahead and open minecraft if it would like to load, there we go I'll make it full screen so it's easy to see login all normal I'm sure you've probably already done this but if you're new to minecraft this is what you minecraft also try project zomboid which I have no idea what it is but it's probably quite cool then what you want to do is press multiplayer I already have some running we can actually delete that one so we have some running here what you then want to do is add server which is this bit right under here that I'm waving my mouse over add server and you'll be met with this you want to clear the minecraft server thing and you type in the name you put into your properties file which for us is server all in capitals and our address is the same thing we put in the properties file for the address which you also found through the command box 192.168.1.64 but that's just for me so you need to find yours through your command box like I showed you done there you go it says communication error because I have more than one running and it has a hissy fit and it doesn't like it but it will connect so what you need to make sure you do it's a common problem is this the server file which is this here the minecraft server you got from minecraft in with all the files you have to be running that otherwise it will not connect you have to have your server application running this has to be going on in the background so minimize it see it's still here in the bottom running away and then go on to your minecraft double click your server it says login in and there you go it takes a while to load because it's online it takes it a bit more time to render if you're having particular difficulty with it rendering, just knock your your speed down to your view distance, sorry, to normal if you have it to far. Um also depending on the speed of your computer, you may just fall in an endless pit where it won't spawn the world. That's because your computer is shit, okay? Um and it doesn't have the processing power to render the world. So as you can see, I am currently online on an online server and there's lots of cows and that one there if you can see is called Billy I don't know, that's probably irrelevant but there you go and you can do everything uh, what a common problem is people say they can't destroy things like that that just keeps respawning that's because you are right on top of your spawn point and it would be easy for griefers to dig straight down so every time you spawned you would fall into the bottom of the world so to avoid that happening, they've made it so there's like a block on anything being destroyed within a certain amount of blocks around the spawn point. So if you move far away, we spawned over there. There you go. We can break them. We now have a dirt. Place it, you know, all of that jazz. So that's it. That is your Minecraft server done. Um, I hope I've made it simple enough for you. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to leave a comment or... Um, drop me a PM, you know, I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can with a solution to your problem. But, yep, yeah, hopefully you now know all about it. Cool. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in my next video.